Welcome back. There's just Chemical Kim drinking her science experiments. There's no shortage of fun Halloween creations you can make with dry eyes. Chemical Kim is here to show us how to make some spooky ghost eggs. I love this. I love this. I love all your Halloween stuff. That's right. And I right. like That's the look right. you're rocking today. It's like the nerdy scientist. Slash no. Harry Potter. Steph, I'm kind of offended. <laughs> Right, so Steph, what I want you to do is put on some safety glasses okay. there because, you know, love you want that. to be safe. And, I love that you know, uh, Kim's things require safety <laughs> So you look just as great as oh, I do. Yay. So anyway, dry ice, yes, that's what we're working with. Halloween's coming, and how can you not use dry ice, oh, right? Oh, yeah, seriously, it has like yes. a creepy, surreal yes. effect. Dry ice is carbon dioxide. So what you're going to do, we're going to show the effect of dry ice in water. So take a few drops okay. of your food coloring and just drop it into, you know, the water that you have there. And um, on both of them or one of them? Yep. Right? So, yeah, like I said, it's carbon dioxide, solid carbon dioxide. And because of its behavior, its physical change when it goes, you know, when it goes, you know, at a temperature that it can go through this change, like if I just hold this, blow on that for me right there. Okay, what do you see coming off? Uh, just kind of like smoke, like a little haze. Right, and then drop it, drop it, here, put some gloves on. And where and do you have you... dry ice? Like where oh, are you? Like yeah. the dry ice stored yeah, down the street? Is, <laughs> it, there is. It's actually called Meyer. You can get dry ice yes, in Meyer? Yes, your I little dry ice that. store down the street. I know. I'm like, kids, let's go to the dry ice store. And they're like, where? <laughs> like, Meyer. Meyer. Yeah. We, yeah, you can what, definitely get the dry ice. I, what aisle would you even start looking it's at for dry right, ice? It's right at the um, checkout, so right next to the freezer chest oh, so okay. for, for okay. ice. Okay, so drop a few pieces in there. And what this is undergoing, here's a word for you. Ready, Stephanie? Yep. You have to say this with me. Sublimation. Sublimation. And that means that dry ice is going from a solid Ooh. to a gas without going to the liquid phase. Oh. Okay. So look how, you know, fun, fun, fun this is. Oh and that's the reason we're wearing gloves, and you must wear gloves when you're handling dry ice. Very cold. Yes, like negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. So very, very, very cold. And, of course, you can make your smoking pumpkin by dropping, you know, a few pieces of dry ice right there into your pumpkin, and it will start smoking. So now great, great, put, great fun. You put water in and you there? put water in there. Water okay, there. water's already in there. Wow. Now, my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite Halloween activity is to make ghost eggs. And this is to trap eggs, a ghost inside an egg. Um, like we're making little baby ghosts for Halloween. <laughs> so little fun. baby ghost eggs. What I have here is this homemade apparatus. And I got this idea from Steve Spangler, who's a scientist in Denver. Um, and what he put together is something similar to this. You just take a jug. You want to have a top on it, but, of course, holes in there so the gas does not build up. And then I attach a, t a hose to a funnel. Okay. okay. Now watch how fun this is going to be. This process of sublimation, when I put dry ice in here, right, and it's pulling out this what, you know, this white that you're seeing, that is actually water vapor. So it's actually making fog is what's going on here. Uh, how okay. long will these last? Like if you want to do these for how long? See how I have this like escape right there so that this does not build so up for safety. Up. You want that open. Yep. Okay, so what's your question? How long does it last? Like, how long will this stuff last if you want to put it on your porch at Halloween or, um, or soothe your skin? <laughs> yeah, it depends on, you know, warmer water will make it go quicker, okay? I'd say about 10 minutes you want to do a recheck, oh, okay. you know? But here we go. So I have my funnel. I'm going to dip the funnel into some bubble solution. Oh, my gosh. And look at what? the ghost eggs. Is oh, my gosh. Fun? Those are so amazing. Now, Steph, hold out your hand. This is what's so great about this. Ready? Kids can catch their own ghost egg Look at right that. there. Look at that. Oh, and, and it's so cold when it bursts. Yes. Ooh, oh, that's so cool. Spooky. Oh, I Isn't love that. that. I love that. So we're catching, of course, fog inside Look at the... That. The uh, oh my gosh. bubble solution. Oh my so gosh. So again, very fun activity, but to make it very safe, in your container, you always want to have an you know escape for that gas, as I've put. You don't here. want to let that build don't up. Let it very build important. Up. Right. So this is a fun activity that you can do with kids. Make sure you're gloves, you know, and you can spend wow. all night Halloween I can spend night. spend all day just doing it. <laughs> just <laughs> that not equally fun. as fascinated just by all of these. Fun. This is fantastic. Thanks for bringing Ooh. this, and thanks for making our Halloween just a little bit cooler. That's right. Oh, that's cool. Now you can find more activities. You can find how to do this one all from Chemical Kim on our website at. WZZM13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links.